And hello everyone and welcome to week 12. That's 12. That's like two sixes. Uh, of um, Blades in the Dark. Our Ghost in the Memory game. Um, we, unfortunately it played down. Um, but yeah, we're here. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since we last did it. Is it one week? Is it one week or is it two weeks? Since we last met. I want to say one. I feel like it's been two though. Yeah, it always feels like it's longer than it actually is. Yeah. <laughs> it's been an age since we last met. Don't forget guys, if you if you want to catch up, you can check out our thing on YouTube. I'm going to have to put social media in the chat as well. It's all on there, all the videos. Uh, when it gets down to YouTube, you can follow that or subscribe to that. Give the video a like and subscribe and hit that bell icon for uh, notifications. And everyone on Twitch. Hi everyone on Twitch. Hit that subscribe button on Twitch. Or not, or follow button on Twitch. Why isn't it not? They should make it all uniform. Anyway. Um, I'm not playing Samuel Magpie Garrett, am I? I need to change my fucking name. I'll have to do that in a second. Yes. Uh, I'm James yes. Corbett. I'm playing someone new. Raven's not here. Uh, Harrison. Hi. Uh, hello, I'm Cameron Harrison. Uh, playing Mackeith, Mackie Templeton, uh, the spider of the group, uh, who is slowly questioning why he's with this group and um, has made an advancement in his efforts on... He no longer has eight suitcases full of really, really toxic alcohol. He now has eight suitcases full of nitroglycerin. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Sir on the Edge, who couldn't make it to TwitchCon, no, Twitch me up because he's rubbish. Harsh. Yep. But true. I play a character called Hulk Stanmore, um, aka Pigeon. Uh, he's a leech that's obsessed with symmetry and he's going a bit nuts at the moment because um, he's got a big scar on his face and that unsymmetricalness has made him unstable um which hopefully should pop uh, yeah he's weird but it's good i'm done alexis hello i'm alexis and i play joseph kajuric also known as blood crow and since the last time she was out, she's a little bit on the edge, a little bit careful. It's, things haven't been really going uh, the crew's way or her way. So we'll see what happens this time. Do you feel everyone's on the fucking like crest of going absolutely mental? <laughs> do, you have, do you feel that? Do you feel that the group? That's how it works. That, that, is, that is the correct mode of uh, operation for, for Blades. Oh, okay. <laughs> if everyone I mean, isn't I, on, the, on the cusp, <laughs> then it's... I mean, I've yet to, I've yet to traumatise myself properly, so... No, but you came... Thanks for volunteering. Yep. We'll uh, sort yep. that out. <laughs> yeah, but you, you're sort of traumatised anyway, aren't you? You're a bit men your character's a bit mental just before you even got here. <laughs> True. Am I right or am I right? I think I'm right. All right, cool. Yeah, and my new character is called Maxwell Goldcrest. And most people oh. call him Goldcrest. What? That's a good name. Because <laughs> Goldcrest is a bird as well. So his name is a bird. <laughs> and bird is a bird. It is the word. Bird, 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 is the word. That was the joke. Thank you for explaining. <laughs> um, right. Do we do we want to do a quick recap of what's what has happened in the last uh, session or so? Can anyone remember? <laughs> is that well, not me. <laughs> I'm low on sleep. We had a really uh, good session, though, didn't we? I think we got a lot. I think we. I can remember. I can remember a lot of detail. 
Did we? Oh, we went after more. Off. We went. I think we went after more ground. Turf. We? Turf. Yeah. Yeah. Turf, yeah. We went, we decided to expand the crew and we decided to just take some turf. And if memory serves me correctly, we decided that the group we were going to piss off was the crows. We took uh, a sort of narcotics manufacturing warehouse that they were using. Um, we had some we had we were really lucky on the first roll and were able to take out most of the uh crows before the alarm could be raised then it came to the rest and that's when the gods of the dice decided to um fuck us well uh, actually actually let's get right it fucked everyone else but 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 uh magpie yeah, everyone but Magpie. Um, so mm. Magpie went yeah. on holiday. Yeah, Mac, Magpie, Magpie had a holiday and then went on a holiday because uh, he was allowed to use his vicious streak with the help of a friendly candle bomb uh, placed by Mackie. Went on a murdering spree and killed just about everyone against the group in this narcotics manufacturing warehouse yeah um yeah magpie was literally the name of the game he was yeah. <laughs> late in the dark <laughs> yes late in the dark <laughs> thanks to Maggie. the magpies basically created blades in the dark proper uh raven a wonderful uh possessed not, possessed raven possessed. Throwing glitter everywhere, wizard. being so fucking helpful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Whisper, yep. She uh, she appeared to have been possessed by a 12-year-old girl, is what I'm saying. Uh, that's what Mackie believes anyway. And so she chucked glitter everywhere. And um, poor, poor Pigeon had a mental breakdown after he failed to hit anyone. <laughs> um, the group... Uh, during their actions, uh, during their downtime, uh, Magpie overindulged on his. I had to uh, do it three times. I had to, I, I had to roll to get my um, uh, stress down three times. I kept rolling one, one, and then uh, six, and then I got a six, and then I went I overindulged. Yeah. <laughs> so so now uh magpie is on a holiday with his parents which is really nice um they were very concerned for him and so they said magpie can we please take you on a holiday and he was like yeah sure no problem uh and then we made a deal with a demon because that's what that's, again. again but to be fair um it was the last deal that you'd made with her that she was coming to congratulate you on your completion of. So. Um, and then you decided to make another one in order to get out of yet another deal with the demon you were already in. So, <laughs> so Satawa basically came back after being satisfied with the, uh, the work you'd done to create fear in her name. And um, she was basically again to sort of leave it at that um when the uh the crew mentions that they had this um problem with some of Axos still where they had to go and um, murder a boat full of uh leviathan hunters which is not, not an easy task by any stretch and she actually off them away out so she she uh having uh, knowing that um, Raven, you know, Raven's kind of her um, goddaughter almost, uh, at least that's how she referred to her, um, she gave Raven a choice, you can come with me and we'll, we'll sort of upgrade our relationship to the next level, you know, you'll, you'll no longer just be a person I look after, or, you know, I keep an eye on, we'll, uh, you'll become a student, a, a disciple, and um, and I'll have a talk with South Axos and smooth over this whole thing. And um, or the alternative was, um, you get her a bunch of barrels of Leviathan blood. Um, 
and she, and the the crew well Raven like opted to to go with her. So um, Satara and her uh, just uh, dissolved into the salt water and disappeared. And you assume that she's had a word with Alvaxos and has stopped things. Um, uh, does that mean Blood Crow doesn't owe her anything either? Uh, no, no. I mean, because like your your debt was well, was basically doing that work. The fear, yeah, uh, yeah. And so she said, like, you know, she sat. She came to sort of say, like, yeah, I'm satisfied. So nice. It's, um, so yeah, you're out of that contract now. Well, that su went surprising well. Somehow. <laughs> a couple of people played. Of, we have killed a lot of people in the past. Yeah. Well, Three you or know. four sessions. Gotta break some eggs. I mean, we're going to have enough omelets for all of Duskfall at this rate. <laughs> we did it, it, though, and it's, it's part of how we make our product is people memories. Exactly. The, I, I, the, think we got, I think we also grabbed a load of corpses as well, so we've got plenty of, like, yeah. memories yeah. To, to abuse. <laughs> I, I like to imagine that the that the mortuary is actually having to turn away legitimate bodies because all their freezers are full. <laughs> well, isn't the mortuary ours at this point? Yes, that's yes, that's, 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 yeah. That's, yeah, like one of them. Yeah, I mean, undertakers are generally not really much of a thing nowadays. I mean, like they're um, just because you know bodies tend to be collected up and dissolved in electroplasma or not to destroy their souls before they can raise up but um like the the, the richer folk the, the nobles tend to be able to afford to to have the souls destroyed without damaging the body so that they can inter their bodies or you know in some way or another um generally be a bit more respectful than just dissolving them so um they've still got a place and yeah yeah you you um one of your turf is uh, is the, the undertakers that your 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 base was behind. Sweet. Yeah. Right. So I guess we'll start off um, soon after the uh, the dissolving of Raven. <laughs> um, We'll uh, say you've, you've had uh, had a few few hours, maybe half a like an half a day to, to sleep on the uh, to sleep on that. And morning comes, Raven's still not back. The the smell of brine is thick in the air of your lair, and um, everything's you feeling a little bit weird. Good thing it's multiple buildings or, or train carts. Uh -huh. That might not matter considering it's a demon Shh. that dealt with a pact that was affecting all of us. So. I blame him. Um, what's his name? Peacock. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, any opportunity to make a deal with Demon, <laughs> that was that was his MO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but... Made one too many. So and yeah. Now yeah. He's paying for it. So yeah, you're all in your lair. And um Mackie is wiping the floor. Yeah. <laughs> so um I might actually suggest um, additional turf for the next one. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, sorry. I'm tired today. <laughs> I think we're a bit under under um, manned to. No, that's wrong. We've got four people. True. Four people's part of the course. 
but I mean, also we you, don't if you want to use your stuff and 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 do the thing we can do that well i mean i have to uh i'm just saying it, we don't even know who the frack ha why am i pretending to swear who the fuck has three barrels of <laughs> the blood? That's what you need we, we don't need it anymore oh we don't yep no it was it was an either or proposition um Oh, okay. I mean, like Sassar would certainly appreciate three barrels of Leviathan blood if you wanted to deliver them to her as well. What? Um, and, but that would be that would be a that would be a favor that you'd be doing her. And having a demon o having a demon owe you for a favor. I mean, whether she decides she owes you anything is not up to her really. But exactly. having, yeah, but <laughs> having a, you know, being on the good side of a demon is is not a bad place to be. Um, shouldn't we deal with the fog hounds sooner or later? You mean wipe them out entirely? Uh, what are our relationships at the moment, Monty? What are the uh, big ones? The, the, who, is there anyone we're close to war with? Uh, I believe there are a couple of people you're on two with, a minus two, which I say. Uh, and, um, I'm all? working, I'm working on the red sashes. Let's see, you're on, yeah, the crows are the obvious one. Um, yeah. And also the spear wardens at the moment. We could and, take more fog hound territory. It'd be fine. I mean, yeah, I mean, Ulf, you're technically on minus two with because he's dead and most of his crew are dead. The remains certainly aren't fans of you, but they're not really enough. I mean, I'd consider them effectively wiped out, so otherwise they'd be at war with you. Um, yeah. Um, however, they, I mean, you know, you would have heard that the, the remnants have probably joined up with the um, the grinders, and the grinders themselves have probably, let's say, they, yeah, they would have shifted to a minus two as a result, I would say. Uh, yeah, the grinders are, are not going to be your friends. Who is that? Who, who, have we got any friends? Have we got anyone that, <laughs> do you have any friends? Do we have anyone that's um, not negative? Is there anyone in a positive like light? You're the on a council. yeah, yeah. You're positive with the gondoliers. Um, <laughs> the people of uh, Char, are, no Colwich, think you're thinking relatively positively of you. Um, nice. As do the people of Silkshaw, though. In fact, that's probably changed now, thanks to um. Pigeons, not pigeon. Um, no, yeah, pigeon. Pigeons. Um, antics. Um, what did you do? Is this him paralyzing prostitutes? Yeah, you're paralyzing them and taking their fingers, like you're <laughs> mutilating them. Like there's there's only so many times people can overlook that. <laughs> <laughs> I take full responsibility. Uh, you better. Um. Uh, I would just like to remind that um, for the spirit wardens, uh, we did uh, have a talk with them about um, keeping the war between the sashes and someone else low, and the they crows. might, yeah, yeah, and they might like consider us friends, maybe, yeah, very like tentatively. Yeah, one one guy said that if you kept that on the down low, like to avoid more bodies that they had to deal with, then um, that would probably be appreciated. I'd like to think um, we did that by merging the mass sets because yeah, I mean, minimizing the amount of bodies we make. Yeah, by creating even more bodies. <laughs> Just <laughs> saying, if you want friends, you know, we can but not yeah. try to be that fair, band. though. Actually, they don't by, have to deal with these By things. creating yeah. more dead bodies, we are in fact reducing the number of dead bodies that can happen in the future, Minister. It's very yeah. simple. Yes. But they don't deal with them because the bells don't toll. Yeah, they don't They don't technically know that these there are bodies that need dealing oh. with. And they won't need dealing with because you're going to process them into, into drugs. So, um, Just saying, so you've got some angle. Yeah, I mean, you could make contact with the spirit wardens and say, "Hey, guys, <laughs> we've done all this cool stuff. 
right. um, but whether or not they'd appreciate that. Um, or just, drugs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm all for taking more turf. Um... <coughs> so the one that's really nice is cover operation. Cover operation. Minus, minus two heat per score. Ooh. Do we have a lot uh, of heat right now? Uh, that is a very good question. We're about mm. halfway. Four yeah. Heat. It's not too bad, but it means that you can afford to be more reckless on missions if you've got minus two heat every, every uh, score. And so. <laughs> it means that we yeah. have to deal with heat less. Yeah, which means that I can gently get rid of Madeline um, before uh, I Isani finds out and slits my throat. Uh, oh yeah, right, you have that like love quadruple thing going on. I have fucked every woman in this city. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's not something you should be proud of. No. Bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not proud of it as a player, but Mackie probably is. <laughs> um, I mean, it's one way to it's one way to make a character. Um, I mean, cover operations is a good idea. What? But uh. So it's either that or we try and make peace with someone. <laughs> um, <coughs> as a score? <coughs> as a score? Well, peace or a peace, someone, I don't know. You mean do something for them? Mm -hmm. do, some, do something for them, potentially. I mean, I mean the, the crows are probably going to want retribution, so um, some people did escape. They know you're involved, so yeah. it's... Um... But what oh, strength like... are the crows right now? The crows, I believe, are still... They're relatively... Um, they're a tier two gang currently, so they're... They have a, I think they have a fairly strong hold at the moment. So. How do you erode their strength in? War. Killing. War. That's what it's War. good for. War never changes. War's never been so much fun. <laughs> but war would take us down to tier zero, wouldn't it? Kill him with a gun. Uh, yes, because you've got a weak hold at tier one. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, we're, if almost, we... we're almost up to a stronghold. We just need one more thing. One more thing? What's that thing? One, What's that? One more. One more. We need two rep, basically. Two rep. We'll get if we do a thing this game. If we do a so, so if we were to gather turf, would that? Do you think that would be enough? Yeah, as long as people know that we've done it. Mm. I have an idea of how this is going to tie in. Mm, lovely. If we're going to do cover operations, I've had an idea. Okay. If we're going to go for a cover operation, I have an idea. Um, so, obviously, we've been discussing this in the lounge area of the train carts. <laughs> And Which is goes, one of the cards with full of bodies. <laughs> oh no, that's the freezer card next to your lamp card. <laughs> uh, this is the this is a common area card. Uh, it's got a bunch of cheap sofas, uh, and a bookshelf with about five books on it. And uh, Mackie says, "If we can get a place for a cover operation." I used to operate a hotel in Night Sun. Unfortunately, that hotel burned to the ground, but that's a story for another day. But it was also where I used to do all of my operations from. One can only make so much money from rich tourists. 
perhaps it would not be a bad idea to start our own hotel and just for someone to vacate. And then we can do all our cover stuff in there. You don't need a big place, five stories. Lodko looks absolutely uninterested. I like the idea of the cover operations. It makes things easier in the long run. Exactly. And one of us knows how to... Uh, one of us knows how to get hold of a... One of us knows how to uh, manage a hotel. In fact, I believe I know someone in this city who might be able to help us. Oh, what was his name? What was his name? Are you saying you want to start a hotel business? I want to start a front. We, t we take a hotel. We don't. We, we take a previously established hotel and we turn it into our own. Simple as that. Huh. If need be. Or even, we can even start off as a gambling den, for all I know. Do you look in to get advice then? Is that what we, is that what we jump into? No, cover operation. Cover operation. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, though, a front for what? We already have a front for our operation here. I, like, I, I, I don't think moving all this equipment into a hotel is going to be very cooperative. No, 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 no. You misunderstand, Blood Crow. We produce the supply here. And then at this hotel, that's where we sell it to the rich customers. Oh, okay. So we wouldn't have to move your equipment. We would just have to move the supply, which should be relatively easy if we can find a place on the uh, many canals, seeing as we're friends with the gondoliers. We get it out anyway. Well, okay, this sounds interesting. Honestly, I'd rather sell to people directly than to thugs and gangsters that's that are very dangerous um well obviously if they want the better supply then they can come to you this is for the cheap stuff so you uh, say yeah. you know how to do a hotel oh yes i had a very successful business what happened to it someone betrayed me oh you fucked the manager no, I was the manager. <laughs> he fucked me and burned my entire colony to the ground. Maybe you should pick your people more careful in the future. I don't know. Well, um, yes. Well, if you think it can help us sell our product, I'm down for it. Most definitely. And in fact, I think, yes, now I remember his name. I wonder if he's still in the city. There's this brilliant man who could help us. His name is Maxwell Goldcrest. I'll no, see you. Hang he's on. Available. Hang on. My character's a noble. He wouldn't have anything to do with a hotel. But you're a whisper. Uh, slide. So you would have a public face. I don't know. I think it's a bit... I'm trying to get your character introduced. Yeah. I mean, you. in the end, you picked James. Do you, do you want your character to be known for something else? Yeah. Well, he's a slide, but he's a noble slide. That's how I was going to bring him in. He's got a drug dealer. He's got a drug dealer contact. Ah! In that case, <laughs> let us recon what I said. Um... In fact, I know someone in the nobility who could potentially get us a nice contract. What do you guys say? And lady, of course, my apologies. I mean, if it's safe. Well, nothing's safe safer than selling to brutish fogs most definitely i believe he's a noble so we may be even able to skip the fog hounds entirely that would be preferable it's best not to do stuff like that they will 
get their shackles up if we don't pay up. Well, there's I, nothing I am left of them. Which so right now. There's barely anything left of them, and what little's left is, from what I heard, going to the grinders. Just so we're clear, I, I do have to point on something that's not relevant to your contact idea. The supply of the really good stuff that I made, the innocence drug, that's going to run out at some point or another. I only had the material for so many of those, so I don't know. Of course. In a couple of weeks, we're probably going to have to deal with the Falcons. And no, I'm, not gonna, the... I'm not going to be the one who's going to tell them that, that, we're, that we're out. Because then they're you just going to kill me. They never knew about any more. Exactly. In fact, they don't even know that it's uh, you guys that do it. I'm. They, they only know that I have the only supplier of the drug. Well, if you say they're not going to demand more drugs, then that's good. Well, if they do, we kill them. They, they want a coin. Every now and again, keep them sweet. Yeah. And as I said, this is purely to sell the uh, the uh, average product. Not that your product is in yeah, any the, way average. The regular one, I understand. Yeah. The, the one that we can actually get a hold of easily, I understand. Exactly. The really good stuff is for the really good clients with a very deep purse. But the normal nobility that we'll get at the hotel if we establish it. Well, um, do you want to... I mean, I'm not that amazing with people, so if you want to reach out to your person and figure it out. I'm sure they'll be willing to put a bit of money in and uh, help us find a location and... Uh, potentially a contact to help us in our dealings. I'll see what I shall do or what I can do, shall I? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Uh, can ah. we, do you want to film Monty in because they have to deal with the uh, animal? Hmm? <laughs> okay. Monty hasn't been here. Oh. Uh, I basically, uh, I'm, so the idea is that um, he we're going to... He decided that he knew my character out of game, in game. Yeah. Which is fine. I, yeah. In short. As a spider, that would make sense. That's my excuse. And I'm sticking to I, it. And, and the score is us contacting this character. Yeah. Is that okay, Mondo? Uh, right, so, so what, who's this character exactly? Sorry? Uh, James? James's character. Yeah. Oh, well, I see, right. Okay, cool. I mean, you don't need to do a score for that, really. It's just a... a yeah. song, but... We want the, to the, <laughs> the, I think the score is to get the territory for the hotel, which is to cover operations. Right, so you're doing a score to get... To, to claim a hotel, basically, as to... Yes. So the, um, it's a safe place for us to sell stuff, i.e. there's less heat from what we... Oh, okay, in that yeah. case, James's character can be an asset to the score, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, well, the thing yeah. is, I mean, you know, um, it depends how you want to introduce yourself, uh, Gold Quest, whether you want to be someone people have done dealings with in the past and you just kind of show up. Um, or whether you want to go through a bit of um, wheeling and dealing to, to negotiate the terms of you want to join the group or, or what? Sure. Last option. Okay, cool. Oh. Yeah, so, I mean, so how, how do you recruit uh, Goldcrest? Or how does Goldcrest make himself known at, as being a, I, you know, I well, can help you out? Yeah. Well, I'm high society, okay? So, um, that, uh, sorry, I'm going to sound like a Cockney high society person. <laughs> That's fine. That's perfectly fine. But I'll probably hear of this um, gang through my, uh, my, my drug dealer contact uh, called Birrell, which is a contact, s s friends, yeah? Uh -huh. I've got a drug dealer. 
So you probably less me know of this new um, amazing drug on the market. Maybe I've had a little uh, dabble in it because I'm, I'm probably a dabbler. You know, got to look fashionable for the uh, for the nobility. Yeah, you know, if, if you're not taking the same things that every, all of the, the 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 fancy people are taking, then you know, what's the, what's the well, even point? Like? You might as well like, be dead. Oh yeah. <laughs> And then you become part of our product. So yeah, I guess I guess through um, through my contact, uh, I start asking around. I guess would be what I would be doing. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, yeah. Through through a bit of uh, asking around, um, yeah, Brill can put you in in contact with one of the um, the gang, like the um, works that um the crew one and through the works the uh they can make some introductions and so yeah the rest of the crew you hear about this uh this gold quest character who seems to be a bit of a a wheeler and dealer in high society he seems to might have a couple of inns seems it sounds sounds like he's a bit of a smooth talker um my kind of person do you like butter with your toast <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know what that means. Bonnie's about to eat something she shouldn't be. Right. Uh, I got to role play how how this meeting goes down. Mm -hmm. you're the one that yeah. came to know about them, so I'd have just left this to you. Yeah. In which case, um, then once he gets back, animals. I'll think of how this is going to go down. <clears throat> so you didn't go to the Twitch London meetup, did you, Charlie? That's a shame. Yeah, my cough was still really bad at that point. Okay. Has the dog um, finished trying to eat a house or not? Um, no, she, uh, she's trying to eat the, the garden instead. She's slowly collecting every pebble from outside, bringing it in and then chewing on it. So it's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she's doing now. Insisting <laughs> menace at the moment. Um, anyway. So, yes. So... Uh, the idea the idea I was having is that Mac, you would have heard of um, Maxwell of Goldcrest um, wanting to meet the uh, creators of the fine product, I believe. Oh, yes, he's responding. No. Oh, yes, no. yes, yes. I want yes. to know how it's made. Well, I'd like to know a little secret. Well, how it's made. Especially the innocent right. one. That's the best. That's the best tasting one. Right. In that case, Mackie would probably arrange a meeting. Uh, oh, not I'm at. Right. Yeah. Just keep going. Yeah. Uh, we'll meet at. Uh, the dealer, Brill, eventually says uh, that uh, a gentleman by the name of Mackie will meet you at the Golden Plum Restaurant in Six Towers. Oh, what a s Gold Plum Restaurant? The Golden Plum Restaurant the in Golden, Six Towers. The Golden Plum. What a, what a, what a dingy dive. <laughs> How dare you? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's where where the pretenders go. Yes, <laughs> it's, it is. It's where the people who Posters. pretend they've got money go to. It's not yeah. where the real people go to. That's the golden oyster. <laughs> As Brill says, lamb. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He's like grinding his teeth. <laughs> Says, yeah, well, yeah, well, he'll be at the Golden Plum. You can't miss him. Has a favorite booth and everything. 
we, we're role playing as a. I think Mackie's now role playing as the uh, as the as contact bro. right now. Yeah, just quickly. Well, um, if, if you insist, then if you ins if I have to go there, I guess I'll have to go there. Oh yeah. Hey, I'll I'm, I'm just telling, on. I'm just telling you what Mackie told me. Don't blame me. Ugh. Okay. Cool. Yes. So uh, yeah, I guess you you, you meet at the uh, the arranged time, Golden Plum. I'm peeling all the knives and forks in front of me with a, with a, with a handkerchief. Yes, like, a little monocle out and like a handkerchief cleaning it. It's like it's like. <laughs> Mm. I deliberately arrive. <laughs> I am deliberately arriving ten minutes late. <laughs> oh, really? I'll check my pocket book. But 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 will Goldcrest out fashionable for you and be even more fashionably late? <laughs> <laughs> he is. Uh, he well, is Mr. Fashionable. Uh, do you want to fault and fortune all? We'll see who who's later, who's mo the most fashionably late. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? How many dice is it? Just do just do one dice. It can be like a, an opposed check. So you but both roll a fortune dice, one fortune dice, and let's see what happens. Here I guess the, the highest is the most fashionably late. <laughs> yes, <well. laughs> I don't know, but of course. Yeah. Oh, of course. So yeah, you 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 show up late Mackie, but no no one's there waiting for you, and then uh a few moments after you arrive. Like uh ten minutes more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, this uh, this other fellow shows up speaks to the um the staff so they, like you know how, how you know I, well, I assume you know you're, you speak to the staff and say you know you're, you're here to meet someone or something uh, i mean um, to meet some commoner i believe his name is um mr templeton i have never mentioned my name to Brill, so he only knows me as mackie all right some gentleman called mackie um ah, jonathan Leave that gentleman over here, would you? I'll, I'll, I'll sit down. Could I have a new knife and fork, please? <laughs> and a new glass. Jonathan, if you would indulge the man. How do you do, how do, you do sir? My name is Mackie. Welcome to the Golden Plum. Oh, I, I'm Goldcrest, Mr. Mackie. It is a pleasure. Uh, I would have a look at the special. I believe that the eel stew is very nice. The chef is very, very good. I'll look at it. I'll look at the menu and go, sure, sure. Yes. Don't worry, you can put it on my tab. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine you picking out just like, you know, look. <laughs> I look at the price. That's what I'm looking at. Yes, if it's, yeah. like, yeah, it's, it's below a certain amount. Yes. Yeah, it's very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to take out the. Uh, hang on. Uh, just for the hell of it, I'll take the. Uh, How fresh are the ingredients? Freshly chopped this morning. Would you care for this fine bottle of whiskey? Whiskey? Come now, a nobleman such as yourself must occasionally deal in the hard liquor. Where, where does this whiskey come from? Uh, it comes from the former colony of Night Sun. It's a special recipe. <laughs> is this actually whiskey or is this your like shit moonshine engine cleaner? It's like <laughs> <laughs> basically it's one step above the crap that I replaced with nitroglycerin. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And it basically tastes the same too. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. All right. Uh, <clears throat> is is it is it, so my so obviously I'd go. Is this is this what they're serving here? No, I've thought this is uh, from my own personal collection. It's to be perfectly honest, it's not the uh, best quality that I save for those that I have done a deal with. Excuse me, waiter. Yes, my lord. Yeah. Hang on, Monty's here. He's not it's, dealing with a dog. It's fine. You, you can take take it on if you want. Go for it. Yeah. All right. Yes. I'm like, um, yes. can you bring us your finest bottle of whiskey, please? Oh, 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 of course, sir. No trouble. Now put that Such put that dishwater away, please. <laughs> I like you. You're a very good gentleman. So good, in fact. It's on your tab, though. It's not my tab. <laughs> I don't have a tab here. True. So, shall we get down to business? Well, I'd like to eat something first. I never do. I never. I never get down to business until I've finished the. Uh, put some food in my belly, if you can call it food well i've survived and i've dined with high society how oh, have you really like like you in fact i've dined with high society so much that um a little birdie has told me that you're interested in our product oh yes yeah very much but let's 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 get to know one another, and then when we when they bring the cigars round after 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 supper, then we can discuss business. I never like to uh, talk about business over over food; it is a uh, terrible manners. But of course, Jonathan, when is that food? Jonathan, could you please take our orders? So, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, he takes orders, um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he, I mean, you, you definitely get the sense, Smacky, that he's paying a bit more attention to, um, to Goldcrest than he is you, like, even though you're a very loyal, long-standing customer, um, <laughs> and, I mean, he, he, you know, he, he knows he's doing it, and he kind of, like, looks at you to kind of, like, we assure you that you know. No, I'm still thinking about you, sir. But but he he's definitely paying more attention, um, being a bit more smarmy towards um, Goldcrest, who seems to be throwing his weight around and is definitely looking like looking the like or act, at least acting the part of noble. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, once he you know leaves at least you know having taken your orders, and um, eventually the food gets served. The, uh, and the, that uh, that finest bottle of whiskey comes out, and um, the uh, and uh, I mean Jonathan himself brings it out, and uh, as he places it on the table, he leans down next to you so that he can whisper in your ear. He goes, um, I, "I do assume there's a, going to be a deposit on this." <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, Jonathan, have I ever let you down? <laughs> Shut up and leave. He sort of raises his eyebrows at you. And yes, I will, because I'm, and I'll tell him, we have a very interesting deal here, and you could be in for a new job. Uh, I'm going to be like to Jonathan. Jonathan, if you could uh, fetch some cigars, that'd be most appreciated. If you could, please, that would be very kind of you. Yeah. Uh, I assume he, they he, would, because this is a very Victorian. I know it's not hmm. exactly Victorian, but they did. That's where they would do businesses when they puff on yeah. their bloody cigars at the end of a meal. I've watched films. I know how it works. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he says. Um, 
mean, if, since you are doing business, perhaps you'd um, prefer to retire to the smoking room, sir. Oh, yes. Uh, I'll, I'll, shove a, I'll, I'll put a coin in um in in uh, in Jonathan's hand or whatever. When you say a coin, do you mean like a coin? Or just like with, with a capital C, or do you just mean like you know a, a singular tip. coin? A tip. Yeah. A tip. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, and I, I see cause that because I, I physically don't have any coins with a capital C. Yeah. <laughs> I see that, and I just gently tuck into the, and as we're leaving, I gently slip, uh, Jonathan. Twice the amount of the deposit for the whiskey. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, this is fine stuff. Um, Average, then. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's like, I mean, this is like worth a coin with a capital C. Like, the, 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 the um, like this whiskey, this one bottle of whiskey. Um, so the deposit for it is probably about half that. So you, you'd have to give him like an entire coin if you're going to give him double the deposit. So it's like basically. Oh, okay. There goes still have my sash. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, he, uh, I mean, that, I mean, carrying that amount of cash around on you is, is relatively weighty, so it's kind of hard to slip it, but you can kind of, like, give him a coin pouch type thing, and it's like, yeah. Yeah. He sort of, like, you know, quietly acknowledges it and leads you over to the smoking room, uh, yes. decants some whiskey for you both, and, uh, then comes back out with a box of scars. Ah, thank you very much, Jonathan. I'm going to stick one in his pocket as well. Well, one of the cigars. Yeah, into Jonathan's pocket. Oh, oh no, I'll, I'll crimp, you know the cigar cutter thing? Yeah. So I'll cut yeah. it, I'll light it. Well, I'll put it in his mouth and light it and <laughs> put one in my mouth and light it. Yeah. He sort of like you know he nods and like, accepts it so and sort of like so, so it's like a very generous sir uh, and um sort of takes the obviously you know, i mean like obviously, if, yeah. it, obviously i'll be like oh if, if your management get funny about it just send them to me and i'll i'll speak to them <laughs> um i i kind of want to say that jonathan is the management like he's like, <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> but but like you know he doesn't correct you or anything. <laughs> like, <it's> just, <laughs> but um, it's like yeah, it's just like yeah, it's very good, sir. And uh, <laughs> and he like retires off, and he he he, he shoots you a look, Mackie, like for sort of like a we're, we're going to have words later, <laughs> but um. But um, yeah, he leaves you two to your devices. Yes. Should so, we have a break before we go to the meeting? Sure. Bunny? Uh, uh, yes, let's do that. All right. All right, guys, we'll be back in 10 minutes, I guess. 10, up to 10 minutes. Yes. Uh, right, let me pause. To make this, uh, I need to quicken the meeting. <laughs> All right. We're back. We got cut too. Oh, yeah. hey. Okay, cool. So yes, you were discussing. So um, yes. So as you can understand, I cannot one hundred percent reveal how the product is made. This is purely because um, you understand that I am merely the, um, the connection person. I'm not the one oh. who makes it myself. Oh, so you're the middleman? Yes. Oh, right. Oh, okay. I thought I was talking to someone who, you know, who wasn't the middleman. Well, oh, we're looking... Someone important. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Well, you see, I am striving to get rid of that. What? what? To make myself the to make myself the supplier. Obviously, 
I cannot make the product myself, but if I have to go sell it, give it to someone else to sell, well, then that's, that's a lot of money that's being lost. This is where we could reach a deal, perhaps. Okay, and what sort of deal are you looking for? I just wish to uh, meet the maker of it and thank them. <laughs> and maybe, you know, use my, uh, use my contacts in the upper echelons of uh, societies, you know, help spread this... Uh, designer drug well now this is interesting you see before i entered this wonderful lifestyle i used to run a hotel and we wish to open one to cover the selling of the product why a hotel? Well, a hotel has certain things that can happen that can't normally happen elsewhere. We can, besides, there are plenty. Of, there are plenty of rooms from which to sell it to do illicit deals from. There are. You can stick a gambling den in there if you have to. We can make it very high and noble. And this is a very high and noble product, mind you. I just don't see nobility staying in a hotel. No, they don't not, have to stay. Not one, one with not one that would end up with, you know, particular, how do you say, reputation. And what reputation is that? That it's the best hotel in the world. I've stayed in the best hotel in the world. They didn't serve drugs. However, they didn't. Oh, ask, however, however, they didn't ask any questions. Neither will we. We'll be better than the best hotel in the world. Just out of curiosity, where was that? Oh, uh, that was in such and such place that I don't know, but it was um, it was the uh, the the uh, the jaded crest. In Carlsberg. In Carlsberg. Because <laughs> if Carlsberg did hotels, it would be the best hotel in the world. What are you shaking your head at? Is that joke global, though? I don't know. I don't know. It might, it might That's be. the thing. Yeah. I don't know that joke. So, no. We've answered that question. <laughs> it's not. So... It's, it's a, a advert. Yeah, it's a reference to some adverts. Yeah. Some adverts. Adverts have been going on for quite a long time. Yes. Quite a few decades. Um, Did you live in the UK? Yes. What about you, uh, Alexis? Do they? Do you have Colesberg adverts in... Oh, for fuck's oh, sake! Are you talking about the beer? Yeah, the beer. You know, yeah, you know, but probably, like, you know, they're going to be German. I have no idea what, you, what, what you're talking about, honestly. <laughs> if you get the feeling that things are going off the rails a bit. Yes. yes. A bit. Um, <laughs> speaking of which, um, <laughs> hey, the crowds yeah. come in, everyone dies. Boom. No, <laughs> the crows don't come in. However, somebody else does. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, as you um you're discussing, you hear the the sound of the um the the door being opened to a to a restaurant, um, and you hear uh you, you know you hear the sound of um one of the staff uh, talking, um, but uh, I mean since you're you're focused on talking to each other, you don't you're not really listening. It's really hear the sound of smashing glass, um. Uh, uh -oh. At which point, Jonathan appears and he goes, um, "Excuse me, sir. There appears to be some uh, disturbance at the uh, in the on the main restaurant floor. If you could uh, come with me, we'll escort you out of the, the building as quickly as possible." Um, what right. appears to be the problem, Mister uh, Mister Jonathan? 
uh, some ruffians off on the streets are making some trouble. Uh, if you could ex ex you know, come with me uh, quickly, please. You can trust him. He's a very good man. Yes, I'm I'll, very sure. I'll yes. follow him. Same. Uh, and I lean into Jonathan and I whisper, and I whisper who is it? Uh, give me a second. <laughs> Suspense! For a split second, I thought it was going to be Asani to come and kill me. <laughs> that, that, that Still possible. Being such a nuisance. Yeah. I think Bonnie's been a bit of a pain tonight. Yep. Let's go, Clyde. Uh, it is not about I haven't had the displeasure of having to talk to them yet, but uh, judging on their, uh, their accoutrements, I believe they're members of the Bill Hooks. Um, hmm. And uh, he. Um, Remind he, me who are the Bill Hooks? The Bill Hooks are um, a gang of uh, thugs that um, wield like hatchet and meat hooks. They operate in Coleridge, I believe. Um, and um, their leader is serving life in prison um, and he operates them from prison. Uh, they have a really bloody reputation for just like leaving butchered corpses of their victims on display. Um, and a lot of people kind of wonder why the blue coats haven't really stamped down them. Um, considering they do. Right. Yes, we definitely want to get out of here. Lead the way, Jonathan. Uh, yeah, so he leads you out of the. Um, out of the back door, um, or at least he opens the back door, and then he gets accosted, um, gets smacked on the side of the head by a hook. Um, there's a bloody splat on the door, and he collapses in a heap. I'll, che I'll check him. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll pull him back in. Well, uh, you know, I'll, I'll make sure he's... I'll pull him back in. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean... He looks like he, he's, he's going to need a doctor or something. He's, uh, he's quite badly hurt. He's got a big gash down the side of his head. Like, um, and his hook's gone. It, like, but luckily, there's no... <clears throat> that hook's not gone through the skull or anything. But it's, yeah, it's clawed a big bloody gash. Was it thrown? No, it was smacked down on him. Um, Uh-oh, where's the person? Well, they step into the doorway. And he's... Uh, He's wearing um, like a butcher's apron and like gloves and holding this big like meat, meat hook in one hand. Oh dear, Daniel Day-Lewis. Um, <laughs> it's like, gentlemen. Can we help you? Oh, us, yes. How can we help you? First of all, you can empty your pockets. Sorry? I said first of all. You can empty your pockets. Oh, I don't have any pockets. This is high society. <laughs> you can have a look at my pockets. All you're going to find is fluff. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. that's very well, weird this, of you. What you this, find, Jonathan. Yes, this, this poor gentleman that works here, you've just accosted for no apparent reason. He doesn't seem particularly interested in having an argument with you so like the fact that you've got nothing to give him um and you're having an argument with him he's just going to attack you so, uh, <laughs> so um can you uh, i mean well he's kind of, i mean he's kind of got a drop in that you know you're unprepared and he's got a hook so basically i, think I mean i, w I was gonna have to resist to some harm office. right um First of all, we'll, we'll do a we'll do a resist. Well, actually, no. Like, if you're if you're, if you're going to try and get the drop on him, that sounds like a skirmish, right, or something, or maybe even a prowl. Since you're trying to sneak, yeah, sneak your gun okay. out. I'll go with prowl. Yeah. Uh, I want to try and fucking command him. That's what I wanted to do, but 
Oh, go for it. Yeah. I mean, what, like, what is it you're doing? Well, like, gonna, how are you putting well, the fear of God this, in this poor gentleman now needs a fucking doctor. Go get a doctor before he bleeds out and dies. Um, I mean, I mean, you think that line of that sort of line of reasoning is not going to work in him? He just doesn't give a shit about this guy. So, oh, okay. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, you, you can, like, you know, I mean, he just put a hook through the guy's head. So he doesn't. He just doesn't care about him. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to try something else in terms of, um, it <coughs> doesn't give a commanding him. Um, Hurry up, because I am. What's the what's the uh, position? Uh, I would say, given I'd say it's probably risky, yeah, risky standard. I mean, you're stood in this tight corridor, so uh, you're almost well. Unfortunately, I'm not built him. for fighting at all. This character's built for like talking. Um, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Well, if you quickly hurry up, there's quite a few rich people through those double doors. Far which, richer than us two. Uh, okay, that sounds sounds like you're trying to sway him. Um, you make me a roll then. Okay. See whether you can. I would say that the position on this is probably. I mean, it's probably desperate. Like. Okay. Um. Yeah, uh, let's say standard effect. Yeah. Desperate standard. All right. I'm uh, gonna see how this goes. Da, da, da. All right. Uh, I'm gonna spend two stress and give myself an additional dice. All right. Uh huh. Ah, I've got four. Okay. Cool. So you succeed, but there's some. I'll give serious... you the bottle of whiskey as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So. How's that going to pan Every out? Every time you roll a desperate action, mark XP in that action attribute. So, uh, so he goes, all right, and he pushes his way past you, and um, like, like it kind of just hurts you just for the fun of it as he's going past, um, and like you know, claws like just drags his claw across your chest, um, your chest, and you're going to suffer two harm. Well, um. The, you know, bloody gash. Um, just, just him, or ju just, uh, <laughs> just a guy who dared to Can speak, I... speak back to him, basically. <laughs> so, so <coughs> let's assume light load, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. because of where they were. They can yep. have like light armor underneath. Mm -hmm. Let's that out. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Well, I don't think I would go for to a meal in armor. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I would. You never know what scum you are making. This is thus cool after all. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, and you can also resist it. Yeah. How do you? How would you? Yeah, but I, yeah, but I've got no skill in those skills or attributes at all. Yeah. Then, um, if, if you've got none, you roll two dice and take the lowest. Yeah. So I'm not going to fucking resist it. Uh, what should well, I? Well, no. Roll, roll, you always no, resist if you roll. Oh, okay. A lot. It is it prowness? Of... Is it prowness I'm rolling? Is that what it would be? Resistant roll? I've forgotten how the game works. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no bonus no, dice. I've got a five and a three. So you'll take the lowest. So three. So you take three stress. And you are unharmed. Where, like, you know, the, like, you know, the hook slot kind of slides off you. Off you. Um, you know, it hits like a, a buckle or something. And, your fine dress coat and just like ends up sliding off you. Fine clothes uh, and jewelry, yes. Yeah. Okay. So you've got you've got some spare moments to get the hell out of dodge. Oh, I'll grab our our unconscious man or our injured yes. Carello and, I will and, join. and make a sharp, quick exit as they go into cool. the other room. Yeah. As, yeah. Yeah. As as you leave, um, you hear the um. And the guy disappears around around the corridor. You hear a yell saying, "What the fuck do you think you're doing? We were here for you know, we were here for Gold Quest. Didn't you see him? It's like, <laughs> it's like, um, the guy's like, what? And hey, where the fuck's the rest of the, the geezers? Like, there meant to be a bunch of people to get fucking mob. What are you talking about? It's like, <laughs> um, 
Um, but you're long gone before you can hear anything else. Um, and we'll, um, but yes, you, you, you meet up, you discuss, you kind of form the basis of a plan, but without really agreeing to anything. Um, yes. and you, um, you, it looks like the bill hooks are after, after Gold Coast for some reason. Um, you both, which you both know now. So, <laughs> Well, welcome to the underworld. Oh, well, that's uh, jolly good. Right, this way, I know a good doctor. All right, we'll take Jonathan somewhere then. Yes. Does this mean I lose my advice? Uh, we will discuss that later. <laughs> it oh, depends fuck. whether or not, it depends whether or not the restaurant's left in fact. Um, fuck. <laughs> This way you shouldn't miss mix business with pleasure, you see. That's what's going to be Well, if nothing else, start up the hotel and get my new restaurant. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, cool. So, yeah, well, I mean, what do, you, what do you want to do now? I mean, considering, um, I mean, you know, you get back. Yeah. You know, you, yeah, I mean, you, yeah, nobody's harmed, so you, you don't really yeah. need to, to do any healing or anything. Um, but you're you're in a position now where you can decide to go on this score, um, or do a different score, or what? You know, it's up to you. I'm still going to push for the turf score, and I'm going to say to uh, Goldcrest, "Well, we're going to need someone to advertise the hotel to the nobility, and I think that person could be you." In return, I'll introduce you to the person who makes the product. All right, um, sure. Marvellous. But is that what everyone else wants to do? Does everyone else want a hotel to be a front? Is that for the curb? That's that's just yeah. me adding flavour. Yeah, it's a it's a good idea. I'm yeah. neutral. So one abstain, three yes. Woohoo! Democracy. Motion hmm. pass. Right. Okay. So. Um, so, I guess we figure out exactly what the nature of the score is. So. Um, That's a tinker, Just remember, I'm on. F I've got four. I'm four. I'm four stress out. I'm four stress away from out stressing, whatever that word is. Fine. Shouldn't you be five stress away? Uh, no, because I spent two and then I got three ah, stress yeah. from resisting. Yes. Right. So, how are you? I mean, how are you planning on taking over this hotel? I mean, assault? Are you going to try and do some like, weird occulty stuff to. We, we, can, we can start off with the social score, can't we? Yeah, we can try and like literally just coerce the hotel into becoming our front. Because that that's what the other two here uh, that arrange this are kind of good at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Sounds like a social then if you're going to try and bargain, bargain. To get a hotel. Yeah. yeah. Do we want to do the usual like organized crime thing where they're like offering protection <laughs> oh, i might i might even come in heavy loads just to be um intimidating our bodyguard <laughs> our body leech leech guard cool um yeah so how like yeah so what 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 connection are you exploiting then to to get to get you your in at this hotel like um, how, how are you like softening the blows so that they're willing to even negotiate slash bargain with you i've got a um <coughs> <coughs> so everything shady and dustable right oh yeah yeah i mean these people are already owned by someone so <laughs> yeah. so i've got um a friend called jewel the blood dealer Mm -hmm. um 
I okay. have a feeling that they would be in contact with hotels such as the one that we're targeting, um, where people might like take out rooms for occult stuff, and um, and 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 if they need to lay low, right, and need a physic and stuff, and blood is useful for all of these things. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say that I would have a rough idea which hotel I was going for. And I would have asked August, the master architect, to draw up plans for a brand new massive expansion of the hotel and try and convince the owner to sell us well, to give us the hotel and in return get a bill of the profit of this brand new massive hotel that's going to open up. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, either or both of those are totally valid. I don't mind. Sure, shall we use the architect? If you like. You can always lean on, lean on another... Yeah, we can always bring in the blood. We can always bring in the blood dealer. <coughs> My only concern is that um, the the blood deal. Um, we use the architect a lot, so you don't want to you don't want to do that because then they will start wanting things back. Yeah, he has already mentioned to you actually that he um he's yeah. gonna he's gonna need a favour. And the other thing is with the blood dealer, they'll have contacts within rather than from with, from outside. So I feel like... Well, if you want to use a blood dealer, I'm fine with that. That's perfectly fine. Cool. Blood dealer we'll blood. it is. Yeah, blood dealer it is. I can, I'm, I'll still hire August to design the plant as a favour. <laughs> You already yeah. have favors. Well, as a as a genuine contract, then. Um, so. Um, yeah, I mean, if you make contact with August, um, he, he basically say that like he wants like a cut of, like the building slash like the um, any revenue it generates. If, he, if he's going to be if he's going to be desi doing design work for improvements to it, he wants a. He wants effectively right. royalties. So. Yeah, he wants a, he wants yeah, he wants his commission and he wants to be a partner. That's fine. I can agree to that. Yeah, I mean you can promise him whatever you want, whether or not that happens, doesn't no matter, but it's like Exactly. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> People go um, disappearing in the city all the time. This is why you don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is why all of your faction states this is a negative. It's like, oh yeah, we could we could honor our agreements, or fuck you, we'll murder your friends. Like, it's like, sorry, we'll murder your family. Think, think for yourself, I've got three friends at the moment. <laughs> Seem to be two. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. Soon to um, be one if that happens. Um, um Sure. Like, yeah, I mean you can yeah, I mean, you, you, you can make some promises to him, and uh, yeah, but that's more like a flavor thing. On that. But yeah, we, well, we'll see. We'll see how that goes, yeah. whether it comes up or not. Sure. Um, it sounds like it's it's fuel for a flashback. Um, yeah. So yeah, so I guess we yeah, so the your blood dealer is gonna basically sort of put you in contact with the uh, the owners and under the uh, the auspices of. Like we kind of know what you're doing, we know what you're into. Like we we know what you're, like you know, we we know what's going on here, and we can make sure nobody else learns about it. I mean, how, how well? I guess it depends on how, like, how do you want to do it. Do you want to be more of a, a threat, kind of a like, or do you want it to be more of a? We can help with this operation. Like you know, your your current management is not up to scratch. You know, <laughs> I think that was the plan. Yeah, I mean, so how, how do you how do you want them to to come in? What was the like? How is this uh, this connection being used? So sort of more aggressively or more kind of as a an opportunity? 
I mean, I'm waiting for anyone else to chip in because yeah, I feel because like it's, it. your, it's your contact vision, so it sounds like it's yeah. probably up to you. Up to you but. Pigeon? Charles, you may be mid. I'm in. Whose contact is it? It's cha it's pigeons. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought you were still in the other scene. No. <laughs> Get yeah, some fucking tower. coffee in you, please. <laughs> I, I I had a, a three hours sleep. Right, Next okay. break, I will. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so um, basically, <coughs> we need we need an end. We need to get in, and yeah. if possible, if we can be there without going through the front entrance. Mm -hmm. Just to show them, um, just to get them off their, uh, get them off their footing, given it, they'd be very comfortable on their own turf. Yeah, yeah. The um, yeah. I mean, the question I was more thinking of is like, how's this? How's your blood uh, dealer um, <laughs> using their relationship with the, the management there or whatnot to to get you in? Is it more of a kind of a threat, kind of a like if you don't talk to these guys, something's going to happen. I, I or... thought it would just be knowledge of the. Well, okay. Of the so, place. so yeah. So yeah. they're more they're more helping just get you in there and yeah. give you information. background information so you can, yeah, so you can actually negotiate on equal terms. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Right. So loadouts. Are we? How how's this working? Who's heavy, light, medium? I'll go heavy. Uh, medium. Cool. Actually, I'll go normal. I'll go normal. Uh, normal. I'm not going to be sneaking around, so I might actually ch change it up a bit and go medium because I usually go light with um, pigeon, uh, not pigeon, um, uh, uh, magpie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Yeah, Am I I'm the only one that's going light? I'm gonna go medium. Yeah, I'm gonna go medium. Don't we also get an additional one because of our uh, rent, uh, our um, our uh, haul hawkers hawkers? Um... Better. We have one carried item that is concealed and has no load, so it can't be armor. <coughs> but long as it's handheld, um, it can be like a special item that. Uh, <coughs> could we not just buy them out? Could we not just go in and buy them out? We could sure. if we had money. Yeah. <laughs> We can, we can. We don't, we don't have the bolt upgrade, like yeah. the mo <laughs> so. Right, that's and, next, and, yeah. That's what we get next, yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be really useful. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll even talk about that at the end. Yeah. Cool. So, um, I guess we're talking about advantages and disadvantages. So, is this operation particularly bold or daring? Um, I mean, it's a. It, I mean, you're going in for a negotiation. You're not necessarily going in particularly hard, so uh, I just feel particularly bold or daring per se. Um, equally, it's not. It's not particularly complex either. It's pretty much a conversation you're aiming at. Um, does the plan's details expose vulnerabilities to target or hit them where they're weakest? Um, I mean, you are exploiting knowledge about their illegal activities so yeah i mean yeah. So, sure i'd say you get a plus one for that um and can your friends or contacts provide insight for this operation i mean you've said yeah you can reach out to august you've got your contact helping you here um so yes uh, are any enemies or rivals interfering in the operation well i mean by talking to um your blood dealer you know who's operating the place. And it's going to be... Please not the red side, please not the red side. Please <laughs> the red side. <laughs> no, that was literally the first thing that popped into my head. Um, <laughs> but no, it's not the red side. It's, um, yeah. it's being operated by the Reconciled. Oh no. The who? Oh no. 
Who? They're reconciled or a tier three gang that they're an association of spirits that have not gone feral with the passage of time. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. They're, like on out of character, they're they're one they're one of the really coolest. Yeah, the the reconciled. <laughs> I mean, in terms of, like, they're, they're probably not that, I mean, they're, well, they're reasonably aware of you. Um, but in terms of their attitude to you, they're probably equally split down, down the middle of, yeah. you guys are bastards. Um, or <laughs> because you're dealing drugs to ghosts and um, we you know, are and, and, and mur things. destroying spirits. And then the other side of it is the, other the spirits side is... that we're dealing with are impure. They are the corrupt form, where mm -hmm. these spirits are the reconciled of the pure form because they don't degrade over time. Yeah, and furthermore, your drug effectively helps satisfy ghosts' needs in some ways by help allowing them to experience living memories. So... Um, it's so, a bit you're on a bit of a knife edge with them so we could, we could if we end up interacting with them directly we could actually end up using our uh, uh, uh ghost market um thing to quite a bit of advantage can i argue that in this case this mission is a bit daring um yeah, yeah, I think since since we're saying it's the reconciled, we're saying, yeah, it actually is a bit daring. Since it's a tier three you're going up against. So, Holy sure. shit. Yeah. So, um, what tier nice. are the meat hooks in? Sorry? Uh, bell hooks, whatever they're the called. bill hooks. Yeah. What about? What tier are they? They are a tier one, two. Right. Um,. They were the people that Ulf stole from um, when he wanted you to trade a bunch of stolen goods that you'd grab hold of. Um, so they already don't like you, really. When so. us, <laughs> when us, that was uh, I, I, uh, Olaf. Yeah, <laughs> that, that reminds me actually. I, I never ended up saying them to minus one. Um, anyway, the okay, so. Let's uh, let's roll some dice. So we've got plus one daring. You got plus one for weakness. You got plus one for friends. Um, we'll drop one because they're two tiers above you. Um, so that's plus two in total, plus the additional dice for luck. So plus three. So our three in total. So there we go. Someone roll an engagement roll, three dice. We'll see how how Five. far you get. Got it. I've done it. Nice. Okay, five. It's not I bad. So yeah, you're in a risky position. Um so yeah, the um your blood dealer manages to get a couple of their um their clients that are staying in the hotel at the moment to uh, kind of like, like let you in and you get you get into the hotel fine no, no, nobody challenges you um, the hard part though is um, reaching management um, the... I walk up. I walk up to the desk. <laughs> I am so glad that I've got some attune. I, I'm not going to use it just yet. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll ring the bell. Bing, bing. The little gold bell. You know the little. You know the little table bell that you get on. Yeah, you okay. Know. I'll ring that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and this um, this pale-looking woman, um. Ah, good evening, madam. Yes, how can I help? I'm Maxwell Goldcrest. Wait a little bit. Let, let that set in. Um, she, she looks tired. 
like she, she has been at this for far too many hours. And she, uh, uh, she kind of, she, she, it looks like she begins to shake her head as if like, you know, and that, that's meant to mean something to me before she like catches herself. And, um, she was, and uh, yes. I'd like how, to speak uh, <laughs> to your management, please. Uh, why? <laughs> Perhaps I can help you. Hang on. Are we buying them out? Or we make, or do we want to make a deal with them? Is that what we're doing? What are we doing? Uh, I believe the plan was to make a deal with them to take over the hotel. I think we, we are buying them. Out. We have a proposition for your uh, for the uh, management of this uh, humble abode. Uh, Do you want me to uh, fucking like, swear? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to fucking? Yeah, I mean, if you like, if you're trying to convince her to do something, sure. I mean, at the moment you're just having a conversation. Well, currently, I'm wearing right. I'm suddenly right. I was naked, and now <laughs> I'm in, and now I'm in fine clothes and jewelry. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because... Oh, that is a horrible mental image. Not... You... No, all along you were in fine clothes. Yes, yeah, all right. All along I was yeah. in fine clothes. Yes. Yeah. The Emperor's <laughs> Just... clothes. <No. laughs> How the game works. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's um... not flashback based. It's just. It's just flashing based. The parallel. Reality. <laughs> <laughs> I go back in time. This is a black. This is a back flash. <laughs> back flash, yes. So I'm standing there. I, I'm just yeah. I'm gonna stand there. I've got a, I've got my uh, walking cane. Uh -huh. I'm leaning on it. Uh, yeah, uh, she's like yeah. I mean, I uh, if you could give me some details, I can't just disturb them for, for no reason or whatever. I'm sure you can, young madam, young lady. Um, actually, right, yeah, okay, yeah, make, make, make me a sway. I mean, it's whiskey because she, I mean, she seems like, um, whiskey, she, she's, oh, yeah, this. She, she doesn't, she doesn't seem like she's really in a mood for dealing with anyone. Standard though. effect, she's, limited, oh, uh, yeah, we say, we say it's standard effect, yeah, it's desperate. Yeah, I mean, you, you could escalate it to the desperate if you want. <laughs> no, I don't get a bonus dice to that. Uh, is anyone assisting me? Uh, could I... Oh, foreshadowing! Uh-huh. I phoned ahead Fine. using an ale... Uh, telegrammed. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how late Victorian this is. Um, I mean, telegrams probably aren't a thing, but like you could have sent a messenger boy or yeah. something. Yeah. I would have sent a mess of... I would have sent a message... Uh, ahead of time, informing them that Mr. Goldcrest was coming to discuss the possibility of acquisition of the hotel, claiming that uh, this was, and I claimed that I was a his representative of the law firm Stan Cohen and Sons. Okay. Um, right. Okay. Sure. Makes uh, sense. Yeah. I take it your your the skies at the moment is looking very oh yes lawyery <laughs> yes <laughs> what does that give me then uh, Mackie uh, it gives you an extra dice oh okay oh oh, oh brilliant why well, yeah. let's see how many not sixes I don't get <laughs> I didn't get one you six. got a five I got a five though five and a four so yeah. okay so yeah risky um hmm okay. So there's going to be a complication. So complication, we've got to give her some fucking money. Of course, lawyer. Pretty much, uh, yeah. She, she'll. Um, she says, uh, "Oh yes, uh, I I vaguely recall some." Uh, Beat urchin. Yes, some street, some some boy on the street telling me that there was meant to be some meeting or something. But uh, you know, I, I don't know how well, well I can trust the word of some random. Man, boy, it's um. Hello, how do you do? My name is uh, Jebediah Sand Cohen of Sand Cohen and Sons. Um, sorry, uh, where are my manners? Um, 
I am Jebediah San Cohen Esquire of San Cohen and Sons. How do you do? I was the gentleman who had the message delivered. Uh -huh. I understand that things are very busy at this moment in time and you, oh, you poor thing, you look absolutely dead tired. If you could please get the management, that would be such a wonderful thing. And I'm going to spend two stash to give her a coin. Yeah. I just take just take it out of um, the, the crew. The crew one, yeah. yeah. I'll, take it out. I'll take it out of the crew and give it. I've done that. To her. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I haven't got the crew sheet up, but yeah, I give her hang a on, coin. Hang on, I've just lost connection. The Twitch. Yeah, let me just check to see if we're still going. Are we still going? Oh, have, I, have I completely stopped? Uh, my Twitch is black. Oh no, we're live. Just refresh. Refresh! Yeah. Refresh! Oh no, it's gone. Is it gone? I don't know. No, it's still going. Yeah, it's gone on my side. Hang on, let me reload the page. Am I... Okay, I'm offline. All right, I'm gonna have to restart the stream. Might be a good time to go for a break. Okay. Watch you. Yeah. All right, we're back. Okay. So yeah, she um, the the reception just takes the coin, and uh. Still like looking exhausted, just uh, just the uh, here's that pen, how oh, sweet. Um, Marvelous, thank you very much, madam. Oh no, I'm, I'm sure they expect, you know, what are you expecting here? Thank you very much, you've been most kind. Oh, James? Yeah. Okay. Um, Hang on. Coin's been exchanged. Uh, well, I think we're all there, actually, Cameron. Ah. <laughs> well, I'm just treating you two as bodyguards. <laughs> actually, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're following around. Yeah, yeah. so then we, we, we uh, well, I think we just... Okay, on the way up to the suite, mm -hmm. I just want to, when we get close to it, I want to use a tune to try to see if I can notice anything uh, ghostly going on. I just want to, I just want to kind of get a feel for the ghost field around here. Uh, nothing too dangerous i don't want to start probing um you just want to feel whether there's any like concentrations of energy anyway or something yeah yeah um sure yeah you can kind of open yourself up to the ghost field and get a feel for the forces sounds like an achievement well. position uh i'm gonna say it's risky standard yeah Risky standard. Um, yeah, I'll just take that as is, I think, given I've only got one dot in the tune. Uh, does anyone want to help? Do you want to do this together? Um, I, I could yeah. also feel out the ghosts. Like, give me a second, Bonnie's being a pain again. Okay. Anyone else have a tune? Or just the two of us? I, I'm not gonna. I haven't got a tune, so I don't want to. Um... No, don't do it if you don't have it. Sorry, lads. Sorry. Right. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Okay. No, you're not. So we're doing it a group, or do we just do a double? Uh, we'll do. Um, mm, If you help me, it'll be better. Okay. Like, uh, if you try, to, if you if you use if, if if we frame it so that you're using your tune to kind of um, 
I'm your antenna. Uh, the, the ripples as I use it as you're trying to kind of control that and kind of stop it from like people from noticing and stuff to help me. Uh, I'll just drill as usual. Are you okay spending a stress to help? Give me an extra dice then. Oh, yeah, it works. One stress. One, two? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah cool. Uh, bonus die one. Five. Nice. So what's the bad? Ah. So. Because I want to know if I resist it or not. Yeah. So, yeah, as you kind of um, open yourself up to the ghost field, you feel uh, like sort of as your, I take it as you sort of enter the the, the stairwell up to the, the pen, like the final stairwell up to the penthouse. Um, you'd feel that the, the floor above you, like the penthouse, is highly spiritually charged. Um, and then there's also like hot spots kind of all around you. Um, and in doing like, and in sensing these, um, you like you you feel one of them tries to like reach out to you. Um, and yeah, you can feel it. It's trying to worm its way into your into your head. Um, what it's trying to do, you don't know, but it's trying to get into your into your mind some way or another. Nah, no, I don't want to give away what we're up to. Um, resolve. Uh, sure, that sounds sounds like it makes sense. <laughs> One nice. less stress. Crip. <laughs> nice. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, you feel that kind of tendril of spiritual energy sort of like caressing your brain and maybe uh, I pull in some of the energy. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, you can kind of, yeah, yeah, you, you almost feel it like sort of like like inching its way into your brain, then you just like snip and like the the, the bit that was in there just kind of dissipates and almost like ooh, you know, <laughs> um and uh, yeah, you continue making your way up the stairwell, and um, that's the, and the top of the final stairs. Is is the place we go one of the hot spots? Uh, yeah, it like the there's like <laughs> like this like little hot spots dotted around, but the the whole penthouse floor is basically just like from lit up. Okay, like, um, <coughs> before we go in, I'm I'm just attend to the others and go. This is probably like I'm no expert. But this place, the the ghost energy here, is almost terrifying levels. So let's be careful. Before we go, it's gonna take more than a spirit bane charm. I take it. it yes, 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 yes. Right. The ah. energy is quite focused. Yes. Let's go in. Let's go in. Cool. Right. I think we go in anyway. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, as you you head up the the final stairwell, uh, you come across like these big set of like double doors that uh, they look like a lot finer than the rest of the building. The rest of the building's kind of been let sort of sort of, sort of let down a bit. It's all sort of run down a little bit. But um, this the penthouse is looks like it's been kept in proper tip top shape. Um, it's like you know sort of like gold leaf on the door and all sorts. Um, Looks very like finely crafted, and um, uh, there's no one waiting for you at the door. And the door is closed, but um, you can either push it or just you know wait or knock. It's up to you, really. I think. I think I'll, I'll knock. Mm. I was about to say maybe one of the talkers should uh, knock. Big bodyguard is gonna. Scaramorph, isn't it? Um, but doing it yourself would be a bit of a miss. Sure. Like, <laughs> you, you get the servants to do it, surely. Do you want me to knock? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm technically the servant. 
I'm the Don't lawyer. Go for, go for it. Knock. I feel like I'm going to get knocked back 20 feet. <laughs> Um, yeah, you knock and, um, the, the door almost like entirely absorbs the vibration. It's like, um, it's weird. It's like almost tapping on foam, except it's hard. And, um, the, and you step back from the door and it just opens and there's, um, a man on the other side sort of dressed up like a sort of looking butler and I need to deal with one again <laughs> my internet's playing up again oh no we're not having much luck today maybe you could end it here and claim that uh, we'll pick it up next week or, or, yeah. or claim success okay <laughs> yeah we'll just claim it's an automatic success we get the hotel we we take over the whole of Duskfall and declare ourselves kings. We win. I'm having, I'm <laughs> ha I mean, I'm having internet issues. <clears throat> oh, the stream went down as well. Yeah, I've just restarted the stream. Oh dear. And you're having problems with, with the dog. Yeah, she's being very. And she would just top it down. We could end it and 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 pick it up next week if that would be the better option. I mean, we're at a reasonable Probably. point for a cliffhanger, so yeah. It's a. I was about to say it's a great cliffhanger. Lurch has just greeted us. Yeah. So let, let's let's stick around and uh, apologise and sign off. And... Yeah. Yes. Sorry, sorry for the early end, guys. But my internet is just just a. My internet's just being garbage for some fucking reason. And dropping it every few moments and and then we've got a misbehaving dog yes <clears throat> um Pebble collecting dog yeah so yeah so we'll go around the table we'll get people to do their shout outs and then and then we'll wrap up and call it there two and a half hours it's not as long as it could be but with, with the amount, amount of fucking gut, yeah it's all just going horribly wrong um yeah. so so I feel we'll start like you had with... a good introduction to your character i really enjoyed that though. yeah so we'll start with alexis alexis if you want to give yourself a little shout out where can we find you and stuff and sure thing uh you can find me on twitter under at game seizure otherwise just grab me on discord i'm over at the rbg lab as well as the james corp discord channels uh playing wednesdays the new numenera season at rpg lab so catch me there if you want to see me more what about the other one you was doing wasn't you doing one with some other uh, chap uh yeah i'm doing Waterdeep as well on um scottish channel i have no idea how you write it because i know there's some zeros in it <laughs> <laughs> oh okay i'm gonna see if i can Copy paste it into the chat. Uh, Cameron, not Cameron, uh, Charlie. Hi. Um, so on the edge on James Corp Discord. I've um, got Discord. It's PTG Discord. <laughs> on PTG Discord. People that game. You can find it. There'll be links. Whether you're on uh, in Twitch or YouTube. Uh, just feel free to message me. I'm about um, that's it really. Next. Right, cool. Cameron. Hi. Hi, you can find me as Cameron Harrison, or if or depending how many people have the invisible boxes, I will change that to uh Cameron Harrison uh G B E no K B E, so I'll have to go look it up. It's a bunch of fake titles that I gave myself. Um, you can also find me Wednesdays on the Dragon Turtle Games uh, Twitch channel, which has also been suffering some internet trouble, uh, yeah. in which uh, I am one of a group of people testing the underdevelopment Carbon 2185 system being written by our GM, the wonderful Robert. Uh, and also I hang around in the Spooky Jaws Twitch uh, chat when she's streaming. And I'm also a frequent 
commenter in her Discord, and I'm also available on People That Game. Well, thank you. And Monty? Uh, yeah, you can find me on Twitter, where I'm known as Dark Liquid. Um, otherwise, you know, I've got some stuff on Joyfu and whatnot that I published for Numenera and other bits and bobs. And um, I lurk out on the People That Game Discord as well, so if you want to want to see me not say anything ever that's <laughs> then um you can you can also pop in on there um i'm always happy to talk about rpg stuff so um say hello all right yes yeah, so thank you everyone for watching don't forget to check out my patreon if you want to support the channel uh that's probably the best way and also don't forget to check out all our social media our social media will have our Discord, or the link to the Discord, tw my Twitter, the Facebook page, and YouTube. Or if you're on YouTube, below in the description will be a link to my Twitch channel instead of a link to YouTube. So it all circles and becomes one. Um, we should be back up next Monday, hopefully with less technical issues. Um, unfortunately, uh, the, way, the way it was going... I mean, there's no point us all getting like, con you know, if it's constantly dropping, uh, and and stuff, it's 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 not going to help the flow of the, uh, the the stream. So, yeah, we'll go. We'll sort that out. We'll hope. Well, there's nothing I can sort out. It's beyond my control at the moment. But yeah, yeah we'll get yeah. we'll get that sorted. And Maybe I'll have less canine issues as well. <laughs> so yeah. So we'll, we'll what we're going to do is we're going to throw we're going to throw us over to. Um, someone else that does well they're not role playing but um they are part of pcg or they hang out in pcg and she uh, it's weaves so we're going to raid Re weaves and she's playing i assume she's playing pokemon yes she does love a bit of pokemon so yeah we're going to raid over there um <clears throat> so please go do do a a, a corp raid or whatever um and yeah we'll we'll, we'll see you over there but thank you for sticking it sticking it out tonight with the technical issues and constant dropping of internet. So nice sleepiness. And don't forget to yeah. come back next week. Also, make sure you've had more than three hours sleep next week, please. And um, yeah, we'll sort we'll get it all sorted next week. So really sorry to everyone who's playing and everyone who's watching. But thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye bye. Bye guys. Goodbye. Bye. bye.